everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. We are starting our pets theme and this is our last month of school. So we have one more theme after this and that's it. And I, I know I say this every year, but I cannot, I don't know where the year went. But we are now starting our pets theme. So we have a lot going on. We have a veterinarian center happening in dramatic play. We have pets in the block area. We're washing little plastic pets in the water table. And we're also getting ready for our Mother's Day celebration. So we're going to be painting frames for that as well. So I will show you the classroom as the children are interacting with the materials. So I'm going to open the door and let them in. I'm we are painting our frames for our Mother's Day photos. Day two, and today we are going to be painting the animal figurines, and then we're going to add some water to our water table, and we can wash the paint off. Mm -hmm. And now we're washing the paint off of the animals. Uh -huh. Drop them in. Yes, scrub them all clean. And I love doing activities like this because these are, this is a great fine motor activity. So there is squeezing the dropper, which is such a good way to strengthen those hands. And then we have the scrub brushes. So they're holding on and moving it. And then we have a drying station. So they get painted, they get washed, and then they get dried. So we are over in the dramatic play area and this is, let's take a look at the clock. We've been here for 30 minutes, so it doesn't look quite like it did when we started. But we now have the food mixed in with the vet center. That's okay, that's what this age group does. We have x-ray, pet x-rays, and we have labels and signs and forms underneath the food. <laughs> there we go. And this is all part of our veterinarian packet. On Teachers Pay Teachers. We got band-aids and just mess in a band-aids. Doesn't the stamp is going? His heart, his heart works. Okay. I think it's dog. 
wash the puppy? No, no, I'm pretending it's Ringu. I'm pretending it's dog. Yeah, he's going to go play with the dog again. I'll pretend this is dog. No! And I'll share more at the end of this video about how I set this up for our younger children. But this is an example of how you can take a printable and you can adapt it so that it can be used in different ways. And these are meant to be word card, picture cards, but I made two copies so that it could be a table activity. I've gotten several emails this week asking about how long I keep activities out. Do I keep them out the full two weeks of the theme? or do I change them out? And for most of the centers, they stay the same, except obviously art changes daily unless it's an activity that requires more than one day. Table activities, I kind of, I'll switch out one or two each day, so it's not exactly the same each day. So after a week, we planted our seeds exactly a week ago, they are now ready to go home. So they don't stay at school very long. I'll go home and they can plant them in their yards. The last part of our day is outside and then it's time to go home. So that's how we have our classroom set up for the pets theme. Make sure to subscribe to Teaching Two and Three Year Olds on YouTube and press that bell icon so that every time I publish a new video, you'll be notified. And make sure to stay to the end of this video so you can see some of the printables that we will be using. Thanks for watching. We have a veterinarian's packet in Teachers Pay Teachers and this packet includes forms, and it has signs and labels. In our veterinarian packet, we have this matching activity. One of the ways that you can do it is you can play a memory game. Make sure you have two of each pet, and then the children can just turn the cards over until they find a match or you can just have it so they're all facing up and then they can just place the matching pet right on top like this. For my younger students I made two sets and then one I kept them in strips like this and I cut apart the second strip and then they just matched them just like this. 
in our veterinarian packet, we have these pet props. I make sure to make enough of these so each child has one to hold. And you can use these when you're reading books about pets or singing songs about pets. Another way you can use these props, and I showed this earlier in my circle time part of the video, but you can then make another set that you can laminate and you can put them on a magnetic board or you can put them on a flannel board with using Velcro. And then the children just come up and they match their pet to the one that is on the board. This free printable on the website, you are matching colored fish by the same colors as in the fish bowl. And this is another free printable that's on the website. These are picture cards, labeled picture cards that you can use in a pocket chart, but here's another way that you can use them as a table activity. So one of the ways that you can make this be a table activity is you can make two copies, keep one together, then you cut apart on the second copy, you cut the pictures out. And then they can just place the picture, the pictures on like this. And then older children can then, they can also do the words so they can match the words up. And another free printable that we have on the website are these left to right fine motor practice pages. So they can, you can make enough copies so that the children can just use them at the writing table, put the writing tool on the picture to the left and they can move it to the picture on the right. So it's just practicing them left to right. Or if you want to just have a couple of copies and then you can laminate them, use them with dry erase markers. That way you can reuse them over and over again. Make sure to check this video's description for links to all of these printables as well as other printables that might not have been shown in this video.